Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. So we've actually just finished up Chapter 1 with the Mega Drago, and we're now kind of taken back in time a little bit to after Flint just escaped from the jail. So we're going to see Duster talking to Flint again. Not really sure what to say. What happened to Hinawa was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. You know, we've seen all this before, so... And then as Flint walks off, Duster. Whoa, Flint's talking. Pretty sure that's his first line in the game. Thanks. Hmm. And Flint walks away, but now the camera shifts over to Duster. And we're starting Chapter 2, Thief Adventure. Like I said, Chapter 2 is pretty much uh, a step in the complete opposite direction from Chapter 1, actually. So... Uh, it, it's it, this one is not nearly as sad as, as the last one was. Oh, and this is probably one of the best tracks in the game. I mean, this one this is crazy. We'll just listen to this. That's crazy. That music goes all over the place. That's wild. I'd hope the time wouldn't come if at all possible, but you and I have been constantly preparing for this day in the event it did come. So it appears you finally have a chance to try out what I've taught you. The enemy's form is still unknown, but we must now change the way we live. Are you prepared? Uh, sure thing. I don't know what we're doing, but sure. Duster, I'm now going to give you a mission. Okay. You will sneak into Osohe Castle. There you will find a certain important item and bring it back here. As for what this certain important item is, now nah, there's no need for me to tell you. If a thief can't determine the value of what he steals, he's a disgrace to the profession. Still, would you like to know a little about it? Oh, yeah, it can't hurt. It's a very important looking item. It's like, all shiny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that helps. I will say no more than that. In the basement, you will find items I've prepared for you. Seven mystical thief tools. No, wait, were there seven? Oh, whatever. Take them with you. They will prove useful during your battles with the enemy. Okay, and now we're actually given control of Duster, which is pretty cool. He's pretty much our main character for Chapter 2, so... Uh, pretty awesome. So now we're going to pick up the random presents scattered around the area. First is a Hypno Pendulum, which is going to help out quite a lot. Uh, next is the Tickle Stick. Then the Scary Mask. These all sound kind of useless, but they're pretty much all going to get some use at some point, so... A siren beetle. Alright, and if you don't remember, this is the bed where Duster was sleeping. <laughs> we can take a nap there if we want again, but... Okay, so now let's just head back up and out of here. And also, we can kind of sneak around the back of the house here. And uh, open this present back here and get a thunder bomb. And now this track for running through the village is really cool. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is Duster's theme. So, uh, really, really good stuff. Love this track. Get some peculiar cheese there. I think Duster likes cheese too, I'm not sure, but. So we're kind of over here during the night. I don't think we've walked around Tasmania at night before. If you need something for the map, living a map, what maps, it must be a map. Oh, if it isn't Duster, I'll see you still enjoy your nighttime strolls. Oh, you want to go to Osoya Castle? In that case, I'll mark it on your map for you. The map's been marked. Cool. I'm not even going to bother asking what you're off to do this late at night, but you do know that Osoya's Castle's drawbridge is up, right? That means you can't get inside, but there are rumors of an underground passage that leads into the castle. Bet Nippolite, the gravekeeper, knows something about it. Hmm. Alright, well that would be worth investigating then. So, it's pretty much late at night. We can't really go into anywhere because it's pretty late out, so it'd be best not to bother people. So there's not really a whole lot of uh, rewards in like exploring around the town. Whoa! Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, he's got a monkey with him. Who's this guy? Sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. I huh. wonder if you took some kind of a liking to Duster there. Okay, well that was weird. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep heading on north. Wait, who's this guy? What's he got there? Duster! What you got in the bag, buddy? I promise not to tell anyone, I'll let you in on a cool secret. Check out this bag, what do you think's inside? Money, there's money inside. Ever heard of money? What, you don't know what money is? 
Actually, I'm not really all that sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tazmoy before, but apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs and asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. It seemed pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Oh, I hope you can be sure about that. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this well here. Duster, this secret is just between you and me. Hmm. Holy crap, I'm taking 50,000 DP of money! Why don't you put it back? Okay. <laughs> See, we're not that bad of a person. We are a thief, but not that kind of a thief, apparently. Alright, so we're heading up north here, and then another scene is interrupting us. We can't seem to go anywhere, can we? Alright, so this is giving us an overlook of Osohe Castle there, and some big blimp thing up there. Oh, no, it's a helicopter, my bad. It looked like a blimp at first. Wait, what's that? Hmm. Okay, I, I guess we'll find out what that is when we get there, huh? Alright, so now we're just heading north. Uh, we need to, uh, we're talking to Nippolite about a secret passage. Oh, wait, what? It's a zombie, holy crap, man. Run away. Oh, Duster. G -g 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 uh, I'm, uh, alive? Oh, crap, this is freaky. Oh, it's another one, it's Chick. Man, they have long chins, look at that. Oh, g -g 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 didn't I die? Oh, man, this is not good. More... More. I want to live more. Oh man, we need to run away right now. Duster, get out of there. Uh oh, we're boxed in. Oh my, is that you, Duster? My, how you've grown. Why, there's so much of you that I could eat for three days and three nights and still have leftovers. Oh man. Alright, so now we're in a battle with a uh, zombie man and his cohorts, which is a zombie lady. But uh, So this track's pretty cool. Uh, it's just a little drum solo. The background's pretty uh, pretty bop in there. So I'd say we just get this thing going. Ah, 11 hits, not bad. This one can be a little bit weird to combo too. Having trouble balancing. Fighting attack. Oh, that's not good. Alright, so I guess we should take this time to show off them, some of our uh, thief tools. Uh, I say first thing we go for is the Hypno Pendulum, uh, because if this works, we put the enemy to sleep, and you hear that heartbeat going with the music. That's actually the beat that I was talking about. That pretty much tells you when you need to combo. Uh, so, you know, that can be useful for whenever you don't know a certain song. And, uh, you know, so that'll help you out as far as comboing is concerned, being absent-minded, having trouble balancing. Wow, these guys are funny. Okay, let's see what else we can show. Uh, I don't know if the Siren Beetle's gonna work, but we can try it. Ah, it had no effect. Uh, the Siren Beetle, if you, uh, use it and it works, and it'll make the enemy turn around so you can get its back sprite. So, uh, that can be pretty useful. Uh, let's see, let's try the Smoke Bomb. Alright, and the smoke bomb causes them, the enemy to stop, er, to not be able to stop crying, and it'll make a miss. So that's gonna be useful on quite a few enemies. Nah, I didn't miss that time, but whatever. Alright, so we're actually running a little bit low on health. Uh, scary Mask just kinda debuffs offense. Tickle Stick debuffs defense, so let's just finish this off here. Alright, takes care of that one. Stop binding me, man. This can't be healthy. Making an odd sound. Man, these sprites are kind of creepy, too. I mean, look at that. Look at the face. Nice. Took care of that one. Okay, so we just got attacked by a bunch of zombies. What's going on here? Alright, so now that we've taken care of that, Nippolite's is hanging around up here. Oh, it's old man Wes's son. What's his name? Hey, I have a name. Should you love to walk around at night, you do? Uh, I sure do. Hey, you know anything about a secret passage? Uh, I guess not. Uh, I say we uh, just go up here and check out the castle then. 
because we're about to run out of time, so let's get a nice little overview of it. There it is, but it appears the drawbridge is up, like we've been told, so we can't get in this way. And if we check this little sign over here, it's a sketch of the area. Okay, pretty cool. Alright, so it looks like we're about out of time, so the next part we're going to uh, try to find a way into Osohe Castle. Till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.